Intro music. <laughs> Welcome to Disney A, the Canadian-themed Disney travel podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Brandon. And I'm Krista. Hi, Krista. Hi, Brandon. So, we said that we were going to talk about Tomorrowland today. Yes, we did. But I'm going to push that back off till tomorrow. This is what you tell me. Tomorrow. Or next week. I'm calling an audible. Okay. Because there's something that's bothering me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... I want to talk about toxic fan bases today. Interesting. It's wow. A, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be our main topic. This is a surprise to me. Yeah. You just said uh, you said you were going to surprise me. That's mm. interesting. Mm-hmm. This, is a, this is a heavy one, hey? It's a little bit heavy. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's it's super bothering me. So okay. I, I just, I'm just going to throw the football around and okay. let's, talk about it. Let's do that. All right. Before we get to that, let's have a little bit of levity, shall we? Okay. Okay. Brandon, what are you drinking? I am having a lovely beer. Yes. It's fairly local, Mm -hmm. um, but it's Italian. An Italian Pilsner, that one? That's local. Okay. Yeah. But that's that's what I'm having, and Mm -hmm. it's uh, fairly delicious. I just opened it, but... uh, Yes, I... (laughs) mm. You have had it before. Mm -hmm. I am drinking a White Claw Hard Seltzer. It's the iced tea, a raspberry iced tea. And yes, we have... Fairly, Fairly basic of you. Which is interesting. Totes. Okay. Um, as popular things can be considered basic and this an- is annoyed. interesting. Like, okay. Toxic fan base. Yeah. Like okay. some people might make fun of you for liking that. I am a well. I'm sure we'll talk about this, but I'm yeah. a big believer in just let people like what they like. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting conversation. Yeah. Stuff's weighing on your mind, is it? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Like I literally have no idea. That, I don't know. We're just going to. We're just going to. No, I'm good with that. But yeah. um, before we get to that, though, let's also talk about Brandon a nerd thing. Do you have a more positive nerd thing that's been? Yeah. It, well, it's springtime, and I've been looking at recipes mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. my new smoker. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, well, new. Yes. It, it it's it's. I New-ish. haven't I haven't haven't explored it very well mm-hmm, yet. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm looking. You have looking to for new recipes for new, to explore it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything on your mind that I, you are going to give it a go? <sighs> I don't know. Just some brisket and stuff. Yeah. I, this whole smoking thing is very difficult for me. <laughs> I'm excited to try your concoctions. Hmm. Um, I, it is June and I'm a teacher, so that's Mm. most of my existence, but also my, I've been going wedding dress shopping with my sister. Mm. Yeah. And that's been really fun. So yesterday I drove to a nearish by city and she actually found a wedding dress. So that was super fun. Yay. So that was super fun. I got to be a part of that. Yay. Weddings and stuff. (laughs) I'm probably a little more excited about weddings than you are. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, but anyway, it was really fun. You'll, you also had your, your school um, concert. Music concert. Well, this was our first in-person week, yeah. concert since um, December 2019. Because we always do a Chris- we always used to do a Christmas one and a spring one. So oh, why? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is literally the first in-person concert we've had. Yeah, and that was it's like... exciting. It is very exciting. Actually, this whole spring, um, I kind of forgot what June was like in a regular school year. Because it's like, well, we had this grad, and then we have that celebration, and then we had a concert, and it's it's been a lot going on, but it's, like, exciting and fun, and diploma exams start, well, tomorrow, actually, and final oh. exams, and it's just, every single day, Man, I'm busy. I am glad I'm not a teacher or a student. <laughs> oh, yeah. You live with one, though. Oh. Yeah. But it's all, it's... That's, chaos but it's exciting that's why i have my italian pills that makes sense that makes sense i and during the weekend i give you my schedule for what i am doing each day and but the end is in sight okay also Thank goodness. we have some shows to talk about miss marvel what did you think of miss Marvel? uh spoiler free gut reaction so I was not super looking forward to this. I didn't even know if we would all watch this opening day, but we—I mean, we had Disney Plus open for Obi Wan, so which we'll talk about next. Uh, I figured, why not? Yeah, may as well. And yeah, I was—I su- very surprised in a positive way. Yeah, me too. I like the style a lot. Yeah, it was 
super fun. It's yeah. it's fun. Yeah, that's just when I was talking to other people at uh, work or friends or whatever who you know religiously watched other things and just hadn't you know same kind of thing like oh I'll probably watch it. I said that I was surprisingly fun. Surprisingly fun and uh, Iman <laughs> I forget her last name mm-hmm. is just excellent oh she's so good it was like perfect casting yes absolutely like amazing (laughs) absolutely and um okay then you also brought up obi-wan so our other gut free (laughs) gut reaction spoiler free gut free (laughs) gut free spoiler reaction no gut reaction spoiler free of episode four is that right yes four yeah of obi-wan what Mm -hmm. did you think i i liked it Mm -hmm. it's interesting uh i haven't gotten to that part in uh, the Jedi game, mm-hmm. but apparently there were some parallels to that because the location and stuff. Um, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so uh, you I need li- to play that game more. I did like it. So, so, again, some people were complaining. Oh, this is—is is this part of why we're talking about toxic? Part family? of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, with that note, should we go to the news? Sure. Okay. I, I'm curious to see what you have for news. Disney A News Update. So, one news item. Um, <laughs> we were talking about the Spider-Man Stuntronic. Um, it it crashed. It was bad. <laughs> uh, that's going to happen periodically, and people will be taking pictures of it. So yes, you'll, you'll just exactly, see it. Yeah. exactly. So, it uh, crashed through a building. Oops. In Avengers Campus. Poor Spidey. Yeah, Spidey. Spidey's I, not. I'd be curious today. to see how the actor recovers from the stuntronic crashing. Like, right? Like, that, what do you do with that? Just, just go improv. Yeah. Um, other Disneyland news: Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel guests can now walk through the private entrance that they've been working on as part of their revamping a Paradise Pier into Pixar Pier. First on the dock was the new entrance, so now wide open. So that's exciting for that. <laughs> If you're staying at Paradise Pier, it's exciting, I guess. Yeah, th- and that's the only people that can go in it if you're at Paradise Pier mm-hmm. Hotel. It's not other hotel guests. Not Good Neighbors. Nope. Not Disneyland Hotel, though why would you want to? True. Uh, you'd kind of have to backtrack. I don't know. But, yeah, that that is interesting. It is interesting. Mm. Um, latest, n- like, well, not really, Disney politics, I guess, company politics, is uh, both Disney General Entertainment Chairman Chairman Peter Rice and Chief Communications Officer Jeff Morrill um, were the latest executives fired by Chapek. So that's kind of interesting. I did hear that Chapek got a uh, seal of approval from the board mm-hmm. recently. So some people thought he might be on thin thin ice, but not apparently not. not. So yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the other one <clears throat> that I wanted to bring up. Well, another couple more Disneyland news is the uh, some of the construction walls have come down and the entrance tree to Tarzan's treehouse, it was like a stump kind of thing, has been 100% removed. It's like it never existed. Now, you don't remember really like Swiss Family. You weren't there for Swiss Family Robinson or anything like that. So this is less weird to me because I do have memories of before there was a stump there. So kind of weird. Yeah, but it's, it's kind of weird. Um... The rumors are circulating that there's still an impossible Encanto th- retheming. Um, they're definitely retheming it, but we don't. It hasn't been confirmed what it's to. Oh, other news is that uh, we have a bunch of new merch. Both the um, Thor: Love and Thunder merch has started cool. to show up. Oh, that's that coming! Exciting? That's coming! Before you know it, that's going to be July here, right? 8th, yeah, man. That's less I'm excited. Than a month. I'm excited. And then um, the. The latest of the series of Mickey Mouse, the main attraction, is Small World stuff. So that all showed up. As well as they have a whole lot of new food and drink and summery time merch kind of stuff out now. Yeah. Very cool. So that's the Disneyland news. Yeah. And you- the, the other thing I saw about Disneyland is that uh, Vader is going to be making appearances in Tomorrowland. <gasps> in Tomorrowland? Tomorrowland, yes. I thought I thought it might be... Uh, Galaxy's Edge, but no, it's Tomorrowland. Well, last week we talked about how they're not really sticking to the timeline anymore exactly, in Galaxy's Edge. Exactly, but no, they're 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 putting them in Tomorrowland uh, near Star Tours, I would imagine. I'm sure. And they have the like the meet and greet Star mm-hmm. Wars area. They used to have which that. we're going to talk about more next Ooh. week. 
segue because uh, we're talking to- about Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, it's so Darth Vader appearing for for the Obi Wan tie in. Yeah, of that's course. good. Yes. Well, we um he used to show up. They used to make yeah. more. They used to utilize the Star Wars stuff a lot more. So that is interesting. And I guess that makes sense if they're not really to delve totally into it for Galaxy's Edge just yet. Well, they're being that, a little bit more hesitant. That could be a that could be a big one. You can't have Kylo Ren and Darth Vader mm-hmm, walking around mm-hmm. at the same in the same place at the same time. It'd be a little bit weird. Yeah, considering time, space they're, they're related and all that. <laughs> Grandpa, <laughs> like I said, is that you? <laughs> it would be weird. It would be uh, weird. Yeah. I hadn't heard that. Interesting. Yeah. Do you have anything else for news? Or are we ready to go to the main topic? Because I'm curious to see what you have to say. What's in the bag? It, it's not a head. It's just content. Oh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Disney A grab bag. Okay. Okay. Brandon, toxic fan base apparently. Yeah. You have stuff to say. Well. You have stuff to discuss. It's, it, it is interesting. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I know what brought this up first of all? Well, lots of things. Yeah. But have. What, what brought I, it up? There. Today. So, fa- fan, the, the word fan, of course, mm-hmm. is derived from the word fanatic. Yes. Of co- Like, so, there, there's a bit of a, a thing going on there. And so, people have always been a little crazy. <laughs> uh, but when you add the internet to that. Right, yes. And, and that whole anonymity of the internet. So yay, social media. And social media and... <laughs> And you have the vacuum chambers of, of people echoing each other, yeah. echo chambers. Um, you run into problems. Okay, and yes, yeah. something that is popular can attract a lot of that. Yes. And we've been running into that a lot lately. Okay. A mm-hmm. lot. Okay. Uh, the most recent example, of course, is with the Obi-Wan series. Right. The actress that's playing Reva. Who I really like, by the way. Can I just say that? I think it's a cool character. Yes. Uh, I would like to see more. There's, but there's, there's glimpses and hints, and I think they're like working towards it. I think they are too. I have Um, theories, but. And and that I I like I like almost everything about the Obi Wan series. Yes. I said almost everything. Almost. Yep. Yeah. It's not perfect. Um, but even if I didn't. Yeah. I wouldn't be sending that actress hateful messages. What? Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh. So, like, what what is going on with with people and <laughs> and why? Like, why why is this happening? The, but uh, this isn't new. This isn't brand no. new. Uh, you can go back to uh, staying in with Star Wars. Okay. You can go back to Episode One when that came out. The internet was pretty new then. Yep. Um. But people got together and. And really hated on Jake Lloyd, who was the child actor who played young Anakin. Because you definitely should hate children. Yeah, you should hate children. <laughs> um, like, absolutely. And he was he was big into, he was, like, super hyped about it and, like, Aww. went and visited. Like, cause if you remember back in 1999 when The Phantom Menace yeah, came out, I people do. were, like, waiting in line for months. Yeah. Like, literally, because you couldn't buy stuff online yet. Yeah, yeah. But they were, they were camped out waiting in line. For month, literally months, mm-hmm. for this movie, and he went and visited some of those lineups, and like was like yay and all that stuff. But like he got so much hate that he quit acting. Oh my god, yeah. that's terrible. It's, it's horrible. And uh, the guy who played Jar Jar, of course, you can't really see him because he's right, CGI'd right. over. But he got a lot of hate as well. Um, and stuff like this, it's just it's just so common, and it, yeah. it super bothers me. That's fair. Um, we also saw that with the the sequel trilogy. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so much so that like people deleted social media accounts. Um, Marie, the, what, what Marie Tran? Yeah, um, who played Rose in the Last Jedi? Like, got a lot of hate as well. Man, Star Wars fans are horrible. <laughs> so <laughs> like, I okay, okay. okay, the vocal minority of Star Wars fans That's it. are horrible. So okay, so here's the thing: I teach a film studies class, mm-hmm. and I have some diehard Star Wars fans in that class and before we uh, so I, I do a movie a decade and for the 70s we watched A New Hope and before that I that's literally the only movie I had to have a chat with them about like Star Wars fans sometimes suck because they're loud but like you said it's a minority 
I have, I, I know I voiced to you, Brandon, before. Mm-hmm. Um, you see a lot of hate on the sequels, for example. And that really angers me when, like, you can hate, you can dislike them, you're allowed to do that. But that angers me when you see a, like, little five year old girl with, like, Ray hair done who, like, is so excited to meet Ray, and you're trying to tell me that that doesn't matter because it doesn't fit what you want Star Wars to be. It, Meanwhile, exactly. there's, like, this little girl who's, like, doesn't give one little iota what your opinion is of Jar Jar or your opinion is of. James Earl Jones' voice, or your opinion is of, like, the correct uh, characters in Ogas, but she cares about Rey, and she, like, like, it, like that angers me so much. And then this, what happened to Marie Trans is, like, the volatile, disgusting spew of hate towards her was crazy. So much so that, like, I, I don't think she's quit acting, but, like, yeah, she was a, she was a pretty big actress before that, which is yeah. kind of why she was hired to bring in that Asian demographic, which you can say what you want about like the corporate yeah. corporatization of diversity. Okay, but, but but you know what? Representation mattered, whether it does. it's for money or not. Yeah, like that's right. That that is a hundred percent right. Um, and then you see some of the stuff that the actor who played Finn gets. Mm-hmm. Like, I think people just hate on. Yeah. Okay. So. He's a toxic fan base is not great. And yeah, unfortunately, Star Wars, because they're, are, they're so devoted, which I love about Star Wars fans, but it also means they can be really mean. Yeah. And, and like terrible. It, Star Wars has been around so long that you have... Generations of people. Generations of people, and it means different things to them. And it's it's really difficult. So that, that, that there's a lot of problems with the Star Wars fan base because it's so big and there's a lot of vocal minorities. <laughs> yeah. And it it gets really ugly. Well, and then part of, I don't know, like, it's really tough because people, I saw some of the hate that she was posting about mm. getting when she first started. I, yeah. Because I, I saw that, um, like, Star, or Disney, maybe? Or was it? So, here, here's here's what I'll say. Okay. Um, the, the actress, Moses Ingram. Yes. And she posted some of the DMs she was getting on Instagram. Yeah. And just absolutely vile. Yeah, it's really gross. Vile stuff. Really gross. Um, which is just a kind of a representation of greater society right now. Well, I mean, you know, like, it's it's kind of a funny game. <laughs> not in, in the way it's not Ooh. funny or a game at all. Like, it is a regular occurrence for any woman to be getting, like, really disgusting stuff. And I'm sure for any yeah. um, visual minorities. Yeah, so you got you, you got the double whammy yeah. with her. Because, and then it's a Star Wars. <laughs> because she's African American. Yeah. And a woman. Yeah. And so, and yeah. then you have the toxic Star Wars fan base, which yeah. has been toxic for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, we keep talking about Star Wars, but well, we're just using that as an example. But so th- this happened; she posted about it, and, yeah. and then the official Star Wars social medias <clears throat> okay. posted very strongly against it, which was really nice. And then Ewan McGregor, I saw that too, uh, posted a video talking about how he was happy that Obi Wan was like the number one Disney Plus show, yeah. but any racists. Are not real Star Wars fans. And uh, thank you, Ian McGregor. By the way, <laughs> because I, I almost guarantee you, he doesn't get very much hate. No, because he's Ian McGregor. He's he's really good, and he's good at everything. And yeah, yeah so going back to the prequels, yeah. he was like one of the shining stars of the prequels. He, he was like yeah. he, he was like pretty much the only one that didn't get hate. Like yeah. Hayden Christensen. Mm-hmm. He, was not liked at all. Right. But he's seeing he's a, funny res- now. He's really yeah. seeing a surgeons like yeah. when he was announced for the Obi Wan series, everyone was super happy yeah. because the Clone Wars somehow an animated series has redeemed him. Yeah. Even though he wasn't involved in that at all. But his character But his was. character was. Like yeah. it's it's funny to project- And Qui Gon didn't get hate. Qui-Gon, or Liam Neeson, sorry, didn't get hate. Yeah, yeah Liam Neeson didn't get hate, but But he was he, only in it for he one. He was he was kind of cool and mysterious and then died. Yeah, so, exactly. Well, yeah. I don't know. It, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that happened, and and star like official Star Wars came out against it. Ewan McGregor came out against it. And that was that was good. Yeah, like for I'm sorry when Obi Wan says like if you do this you suck. Mm-hmm. That yeah, you should I mean, you need to reexamine somebody. your life. So <laughs> it, it's it's good that we're we're getting some fight against it. And there's yeah. going to be some social inertia because of course because when these differences appear on screen, the people that are offended by it, they, there's some social inertia there, right? It's true. Um, and they're just 
kind of scared that they're not going to be as important as they once were, which is sad. I, I, <laughs> you're I, like, as a white uh, man, yeah, you know, I, you're kind of sad. I'm trying, <laughs> like, to, I don't no, know. No, but, okay, so, so here's the thing. I'm uh, I'm not a visible minority, a woman, but like, yeah. You, but you, I think you still it's, have your own privilege, but I do have my own privilege. But I, the number one, it doesn't. Okay, when most of the super volatile, I, I'm being super generalized here. When most of the spewing of that kind of stuff happens, it's by a particular group of people, yeah. and I'm very sorry to say that it's a particular group of overly generalized demographic that you belong to. I know. So when you're yeah. like, "This is stupid," stop it. That's actually the voice that matters. It shouldn't be the voice that matters, but it's the voice that matters. That, that's because that the hateful people will more often listen. That's what I mean to that. Which, so as so a uh, member of yeah I know I know but okay so that's a bigger issue in general so you and McGregor came out about this and I think we all applaud that yeah uh, and it it's I think it's important to talk about which is why I wanted to talk about it today okay um, it's a tough one and, and it's not super fun we've been talking a lot about Star Wars yes um, just because of the reasons yeah. and like we're a Disney focused podcast of so course. Star Wars mm-hmm, li- mm-hmm. lines into that but. Uh, what else brings this up for you? So the other thing is I made the mistake of clicking on the comments for a post celebrating the release of episode one of Ms. Marvel. Oh, don't ever read the comments. <laughs> oh, no. What? The same thing. And yeah. she's like a teenager. Yeah. And actually like a massive Ms. Marvel fan. Like they always say they're fans because it's like, oh, they sent me the comics or something like that. Right? Yeah. But she literally was a fan. Oh, yeah. There's pictures of her like as a little girl dressed up mm-hmm. and stuff Which like that. Which was like two years ago, but I mean. Okay, I mean, <laughs> okay granted, granted. She, she's still she's still a little girl. And like oh, the no. fact that there's a series about a young brown girl is somehow offensive to people like are you like that is disgusting that's the whole point though like that's the point exactly <laughs> okay oh no are you serious mm-hmm. where was this twitter well, just on twitter like it was the so like so let's the, explain social media here for a second like our social media so my experience is we kind of both are on facebook a little bit but i'm heavily on instagram and you're heavily on twitter yeah so like we see different things mm-hmm. okay so this was on twitter yeah it was it was like literally the official promoted disney tweet that was like episode one now streaming come see miss marvel and there was like oh go get woke go broke blah 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 stuff like that that's really gross oh yeah and i mean it, i get that it's a tough thing like people say oh you're just i saw that one of the posts for um not to go back to star wars but moses ingram was like you're just the diversity hire and it's like so your solution is never to hire anyone who's diverse like yeah. i'm so like, like it is like you're so it is stupid tough it's so stupid but you gotta you got to do the tough part well, until I, it's not tough anymore it's, it's true and like you can't on one hand be ticked off at Disney or Star Wars or Marvel or whatever company for doing that, but then also be ticked off that they don't do it. Like, you don't get to do those things. And, like, I saw a, a clapback comment to that was, like, you were you were the just white hire, so, like, I'm confused what you're yeah, like, like, well, like, it I, has worked both ways. I don't know. So... <laughs> or in that case, because it was Moses Ingram, it was white male hire, I think is mm. what, the, what the thing was. But not to dissuade on... Like, that's fine, too, but best for the job is best for the job. And, like, that's, like, really upsetting that she saw the, that she had to be subject to that kind of stuff. I hope that there were a lot of comments clapping back to that, because that is... Oh, yeah. I mean, there there was some, but mm-hmm. the people that post... that that's the, that's the trouble with the vocal minority, right? They're very They're loud. very vocal. <laughs> I remember watching a thing, and I don't... I don't remember what it was, but part of the thing is the people who are very vocal about these kinds of things Mm -hmm. are very loud, and the people who aren't, they see that, and they roll their eyes, and they scroll past, and you're like, okay, well, that's fine. You don't feed the trolls, but then that feels like those are the only voices, Yeah, and that's, so it's like, it's like a lose-lose situation. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, That's gross. Yeah, I, I, I don't engage in arguing on social media, because I don't think it serves any purpose and it's like 
don't get in an argument with an idiot because they'll drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. <laughs> right. So, like, I, well, I mean, and that's kind of the thing, too. Yeah. That's just, but it's hard because then you feel like that's the only voice. That's the only opinion when that's the only one you hear. So I don't, I don't know what the answer is on that one. Yeah, it, it is, it is very, very difficult. And it's sad because it's, it's happy that nerddom has been embraced by the mainstream. Oh, 100%. It really, really is. But it, it sucks that uh, there's so much hate flowing around. Too. Well, let's just all remember, that's a kid. That's, that's, a, that's a kid you're, like, whose literal dream was to, like, be this character. And, and, you and see she's that. doing such a good she's job. She's doing so well. Like, it's crazy. There's only one episode. but Okay, but she's, like, she's awesome. Where did she come from? I haven't seen her in anything before, which should also say something. But, like... No. Like, she's really cool. Kicking butt. Yeah, and this Miss Marvel character means a lot. Like, is exactly what well, the and, point yeah, Mi- is. Miss Marvel is new, new-ish in the comics. Yeah, and, only a few years, yeah. And was written to give representation. But mm-hmm. <laughs> if if you haven't been, like, paying attention to, to nerddom for the past 50 years... Yeah. It's... It's always been super liberal. Well, wasn't, like, that kind of the point behind most of Marvel? Like, Stan mm. Lee did this. And, yeah. like, okay, well, like, look at all these different... Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know. It's, like, you're, you're getting upset about, about this, but it's, like, literally some people are green and some people are, like, made of rock and some people are... You know, like, it doesn't... Like, what was your, what was your point? This is not a, a race one. I just wanted to say that... Uh, I was just watching, I was just looking, again, I don't read comments, people, apparently. Um, I was reading Facebook comments about, uh, again, people being outraged about turning red, still. Oh, because well, that's another one, exactly. puberty metaphor going on. <laughs> and then people were, like, pointing out other ones, but all the other ones that people didn't have a problem with were men. But this was a girl. Mm-hmm. And we were like, and, and it was a, a, someone posted, it's like, well, I have a nine year old boy who doesn't need to know that. Guess what? Your nine year old boy is going to school with girls who are dealing with that right now, actually. Get over yourself. And someone else made a really good comment. It's like, funny, they make fart jokes. It's a bodily function, people. <laughs> like, right? Like, people are just upset about that. Or they're upset about, like, the cultural representations of, like, a Chinese Canadian. And I'm pretty sure they don't mean the Canadian part. <laughs> Uh, yeah i don't know did you feel like miss marvel was a was a bore fest no because apparently this person's favorite part about the new of episode one of miss marvel was when it was over this bore fest was bore fest was more poorly written than obi-wan well yeah that's that's (laughs) what we're dealing with right (laughs) the credits when it stated the end my favorite part was not wasting my time watching it. This one. I'm a huge Marvel fan, but this is a horrible show. Someone said, how so? Poor acting. Weak story. I think they're just being a little liberal, over liberal, just for the sake of approval from others. Yeah. That's that's what you're fighting against. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then there's a lot of vulgar stuff. Okay, here we go. I think I found it. Okay. <clears throat> So, yeah, this is just a, a, a kind of a viral social media post, mm-hmm. but it uh, it encapsulates <clears throat> kind of the general thrust of... <laughs> it's funny how n- nerd culture can be very toxic, but the, this, this, the foundation of it mm-hmm. is very left-leaning and inclusive. Yeah, it's the right? exact, literally the exact opposite. Right. They, you have a blind guy who's like... <laughs> literally a kick-ass superhero so but i think this lays it out pretty well. okay so it starts off x-men is about civil rights if you didn't get that you didn't get x-men mm-hmm. black panther is about civil rights if you didn't get that you didn't get black panther but punchy punchy kitty <laughs> captain america literally fought nazis <laughs> he's the embodiment of fighting the alt-right if you didn't get that you didn't get captain america true the Empire in Star Wars is fascist. Mm-hmm. The Rebel Alliance is, are anti-fascist. If you didn't get that, you didn't get Star Wars. True. Literally designed after them. <laughs> the Punisher isn't meant to be a role model for police or armed forces. 
so much so that the writers of The Punisher made him actively speak out against it in the comic. If you didn't get that, you didn't get The Punisher. Deadpool is queer. He's pansexual. Yes, he is. Fact. If you didn't get that, you didn't get Deadpool. It's true. <laughs> it is 100% true. It's like a whole thing, even in the movie, which they like didn't go into as much. <laughs> no, they, they, they kind of brushed past it in the movie, but... Uh, they, they didn't like hide it, but they didn't like delve into mm-hmm. it either. Yeah. <clears throat> Star Trek is about equality for all genders, races, and sexualities. Mm-hmm. As early as the mid-60s, it was about taking a pro-choice stance and defending women's right to choose. One of the clearest themes is ex- accepting cultures and appearances and working together for peace. And it's also anti-capitalist and pro-vegan. Hmm. I didn't know it was pro-vegan. Well, I mean, the replicator, right? You're not using any animals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you didn't get that, you didn't get Star Trek. That makes sense. Superman and Supergirl and a whole host of other superheroes are immigrants. Yeah. The stance of those comics is pro-immigration and pro-equality and acceptance. If you didn't get that, you didn't get Superman. Stan Lee said, Racism and bigotry are among the deadliest social ills plaguing the world today. If you're a bigot or a racist, you didn't get any of the characters Stan Lee created. Yeah. Well, that was... We saw Stan Lee speak, and that's what he talked about. That's why he made Spider-Man. He's like, he needs someone weak to be like... Yeah. Yeah. And, like, Mar- Marvel... Marvel comics were always about... Wasn't that the whole point behind them? Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) The stories we all grew up with taught us to value other people and cultures, and to treasure the differences between us. Only villains were xenophobic, or (laughs) sexist, or racist. Or Nazis. I can't understand how anyone can have missed that. People are stupid. If you're upset that there is a black Spider-Man, or a black Captain America, or a female Thor... Are you serious? Okay. Or a female Thor, or that Ms. Marvel is Muslim, or that Captain Marvel was pro-feminism, or any of the other things that fans say is stealing their childhood, you never got it in the first place. The things you claim are now pandering to the lefties were never on your side to begin with. If you consider yourself a fan of these things, but you still think... The LGBTQ plus community is too in your face or have a problem with Black Lives Matter or want to take the country back from immigrants, then you're not really a fan at all. Geek culture isn't suddenly left wing. It always was. You just grew up to be intolerant. You became the villain in the stories you used to love. I really like that last line. I think that that probably said better than we were. Yeah, that's 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 why I wanted to read it. I like it. Do you want to leave it on at that? It's just really upsetting. Well, it's upsetting because we love these things. And, like, it's really hard when you see this and you're excited about it and you applaud it. And then you see it being, like, drugged through really loud, angry people. Yeah. And don't didn't get it in the first place. You don't have to like everything that's on the screen. No. But... If, if that's, and you know what, if you don't like it and you can't put your finger on why you don't like it, you might need to do some self-examination. Just say, meh, that show's not for me. That's allowed. Mm. Yeah, that is allowed. Absolutely allowed. allowed. If you feel that it is suddenly left wing, um, maybe Mm. you need to wonder if you're the villain in the story. I like that. I like that because I think it's true. Want to leave it there? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, a bit heavier, but that is our show. Um... Thanks for sticking with us on this one. And you know what? I'm curious. Feel free to message us. Yeah. Our email, we our website is disneya.wixsite.com slash podcast. Does that sound about right? Sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> you Google Disney A, you'll find us. But more importantly, I do respond to Instagram messages quite well. I'm on Disney A on there. We are also Disney A on Facebook and um Twitter, you can find us that way, and you can also find us on YouTube on Adventures A. I haven't been posting lately, but hey, it's June, and I'm a teacher, so <laughs> that. But that also means that we'll be posting again soon. So you know what? If you feel like making some angry comments about this, I am feel more free. than happy, more than happy to read them. Mm-hmm. Yep. And um, yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't think any of these other of these people that we actually like. Uh, we, they didn't mind hearing from the ridiculous villains either so you feel free to send us those messages okay all right well on that note how about next week we talk about tomorrowland yeah tomorrowland yeah we can send some 
non-aggressive hate towards Tomorrowland. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Stick around and uh, find out how to do non-aggressive hate. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because you're allowed to not like things. Yeah. No. You can be critical. (laughs) Yeah. Critical's fine. Without being disgusting. We we are that way. We're critical. Remember I say I'm very judgy about things. Um, That doesn't mean that you're volatile or, you know, the... All the negative stuff. Toxic. Racist. And... Or, yeah, and that. <laughs> Any kind of intolerant. A villainous. Yeah. I'm just going to, you're a villain. Mm-hmm. If you're like that. Okay, so let's uh, let's be critical of Tomorrowland without being villainous. Let's practice that, shall we? And uh, also on a different note, and you know what? I actually, by all means, send us your messages because I think it would be a grand old time to read those on the next episode. So if you, uh, if you have some particularly interesting villainous things to say, don't shy away. <laughs> I can take it. Um, especially knowing that I am the one who reads the Instagram ones. You feel free to send them on over my way. And uh, we do have a Q&A episode coming up in a couple weeks. We have had some excellent questions, but if you have ones, whether they're about this topic or anything else, feel free to send them that way, um, our way as well. And on that note, I'm Krista. And I'm Brandon. Don't be a villain. And instead, uh, join us on our next adventure, TTFN Ta-Ta. Thanks for listening to Disney A.